Jacoby. I'm an assistant professor of Native American Studies and American Studies at the University of New Mexico here in Albuquerque. I'm also the 2019-2020 Culture Desk for the Red Nation. I also co-founded the Red Nation. So I think these are my comrades right here. So I'd first like to thank Samia Asas for inviting me to speak here today. As some of you may know, Samia is on the board of directors for the National Women's March. She is also a Palestinian woman. It's no coincidence that a Palestinian woman invited a Dene woman, me, to speak here today. Palestinians and the indigenous people of Turtle Island have much in common. Our struggles for liberation and decolonization are premised on the same thing, the right of return. The, right, the return of Palestinians to their rightful homeland, now under occupation by Israel, and the return of indigenous homelands to indigenous nations, now under occupation by the United States. You may be wondering why I, as a Diné indigenous woman, am starting my remarks by talking about Palestine. As I said above, Palestinians and indigenous people here have much in common. Our shared struggle is about the land. We struggle so that we may caretake the land and be in right relation with the land. In order to do this, we must have self-determination, not the fictitious self-determination granted to us by colonial states, but true self-determination. From the plunder and poison that states facilitate in the name of global capitalism and world domination. Israel has stolen Palestinian land to produce some of the world's deadliest military technology, which is today being used to crush the mass movement that erupted last month in response to Modi's anti-Muslim citizenship law in India and here in New Mexico where the United States stole Tiwa, Tewa, Diné, and Ende lands to produce the nuclear bomb and install touchstones of the U.S. military-industrial complex like Intel, Sandia National Labs, and Kirtland Air Force Base. Our lands, indigenous lands, Palestinian lands, are point zero for the death machine of war, imperialism, colonialism, and capitalism. So what does this have to do with feminism and the Women's March? The liberation of Palestine and Turtle Island are at the heart of all of our efforts to turn the tide of history. In a moment where our collective destiny, indeed our struggle for our very life and future, hinges on our ability to make connections between these seemingly separate issues, we must acknowledge that feminism is one of the best tools we have to forge the relationships necessary for building powerful mass movements that can encompass many demands and many people. Queer indigenous feminists, of which I am one, have long understood that we are stronger when we are growing in numbers and caretaking one another. As famed Dakota intellectual Ella Deloria once said, I am not afraid, I have relatives. <laughs> to be a good relative in this historical moment means to fight back, to fight for the rights of Palestinian and indigenous return to land, to fight for an end to US imperialism in all wars, to fight for land and a world beyond capitalism. On this day and always, we fight for all of this in the name of feminism. If you're interested in that kind of feminism, you should join the Red Nation. These are my comrades right here. We have our table over here. You should read the Red Deal. It's a policy platform for liberation. Come join us. We're gonna continue the fight. Thank you so much, again.